Welcome back to our monkey challenge. We are going to be almost finishing this guy up. We are going to be really focusing on aligning. And we are also going to be doing all of our flat color. So we're basically going to get rid of all of the lines. And it's going to look like something. I know you guys are like, let's make this look like something. So let's do this. I'm going to hide my features. Let's just lock it out. And I'm going to select my shapes. And then we're going to just hang out there for a second. Now, before we do anything with shapes, what I want you to do is th there should be a nice little swatches. That's going to bother me. So before I give it to you, let's make sure things are spelled right. So if I see our swatches, what I want you to do is click on your swatch menu. And if you can't see it, just go over to window swatches. And then what we are going to be coming over and grabbing is our eyedropper tool. So just click on I and or your eyedropper tool. And this is how easy it is. You're going to notice I've already done this. So I'm going to click on it. Here's my swatch. You can drag it over. Click on my swatch. I'm clicking and holding, by the way, and then dragging it over. If you say, why are we dragging it all the way over there? I can just drag it off and then I can just plop it up. And we're just going in order. I like having my values go in order. I guess I'm high maintenance that way. And then we're just dragging, dragging, dragging. All right, so if that takes a little bit of a second, remember just pause. I'm gonna take this and just drag it on back until it goes into my dock. Good. Now on my layers, I don't need to see that. I'm still on my shapes, and we are going to be just pretty much hanging out Black Arrow right now. So I'm on Black Arrow, and what we're going to do is we're basically going to go kind of the stuff that's farthest away, and then we're going to start moving forward so you can kind of see what my thought process is. So everything is in stroke form. Some things we're going to have to expand, but everything right now is in strokes, and we want everything to be a fill. So easiest little version to do and just start with is this little shift X and all that is is that little toggle. So I'm just going to go shift X and then I want this to be my darkest brown. And let's just grab all of those. I'm going to right click, arrange, and I'm just going to send all of those to back for right now. These are also going to be dark brown. So I'm going to go object expand so now they are shapes by the way and now I can color those my dark brown just seeing what else is dark brown I'm gonna grab my ears I'm gonna come up to objects I'm gonna want to expand that looks good I want those to be br dark brown okay now everything else is gonna be pretty easy I'm going to grab all of those. Again, Shift X. Grab our toggle. Now these little ears, those are going to float out until we get to the next video. No worries whatsoever. We're not going to do any Pathfinder yet. I want to color this one our skin color. So notice I've got a highlight color. And then I want a little bit of a darker color right there. I'm going to hold down Shift. I'm going to hit my little toggle. And again, that just, one, removes the stroke. And that is going to be our light pink. I'm going to come over. I'm holding down shift. Again, come over and click toggle. And that will be our dark pink. So what we are looking for is pretty much this type of order. So I just want to make sure that these little weird little tufts those are exactly where they're supposed to be so that is totally fine all right so what we are going to do now is we're going to have some fun with the align tool so if you guys can't see our little align let's just pull that guy out as soon as i select things you'll notice that it does pop up if i clicked two things a lot of times this will start popping up at the top so that is totally fine now, when I do my align, what I want to do is come over to the right 
and I want to show options. And what that is going to do is it's going to give me this little align to. So where a lot of the mistakes come in, or where a little bit of the frustration, is you just don't know what it's aligning to, or you're just really, really click. So I see a lot of students just click. They're doing the right button. It's just they're not aligning to the right thing. So that's really the, the key thing. So what I want to do is I want to align to the selection first. So I just want to just double check. More than likely, they'll be fine. So any of these will pretty much do the exact same thing. So I just want to click it and just double check. That's good. Now I want to double check that these ears are going to be the same. So what I want to do is I want to grab all these. Again, I'm on the black arrow. I'm grabbing all of them. And here's my little tidbit. We are going to group. So notice that we have multiple, multiple shapes. Let's just do control zero for a second. I'm, this is, this is what I want, don't want you to do. So this is going to be the oops, right? So I'm just grabbing everything. I'm holding down shift. Now, a lot of times people will come in and they say, hey, I want to do, and just double check that these are all centered. Nothing is grouped and it's going to start collapsing on you. So that's the oops. So if I can control, that's just undo, by the way. Control zero is undo. So what I want to do is I want to group. So all of the things over here were correct. Like I wanted to do this. The only little thing that people typically forget is to group. So notice that this whole chunk and this whole chunk, I want these giant chunks to basically be centered. Now, since we've already got the anchor point guides, we are gonna be pretty close with most of those things. So these things can, once we have them aligned, I can group those. All right, I think we're pretty good. Let's come over and let's just double check our features. We're gonna start having some fun with our colors. So on my features, I'm gonna unlock it. I'm going to select it. So first, let's just color things. Now I'm holding down shift, by the way. I'm gonna go Shift X, and those are all gonna be dark brown. Let's do our highlight shapes. I might need to zoom in. I'm using my spacebar, by the way. So notice when on the, we're using our spacebar that everything still stays selected. I'm holding down Shift. I'm gonna do my little toggle, Shift X. And let's just make those nice and white. Let's grab this one, this will be white as well. And this is gonna be basically our teeth. So it's gonna look funny for a second. So it's gonna go Shift X. Let's just color that white. I'm gonna grab my teeth. Now these are gonna be brown, and notice that they are still in stroke form. What I want to do is go Object, Expand, and I really only need the stroke to be expanded. And now those are shapes. So when we move on to the next step, Pathfinder likes shapes. It does not like strokes. Control zero. I'm gonna hold down Shift, by the way. I'm gonna Shift X. These are going to be our pink. Good. Let's do our last two little things. Now these little highlights, we're gonna first color it. We're not even gonna color it yet. I'm just selecting my cartoon brush, so it's gonna be tapered on both ends. I'm gonna go object, expand, and then I'm gonna color those white as well. Okay, I think All right, so this is what we're gonna do. Let's align our eyeballs. And then we will start grouping and we'll align things to center. So we'll have some fun here. While we have you here, we're gonna make some things more complicated. All right, so what I wanna do is 
This is all good. So I'm going to group my eyeballs. So every little part, I'm holding down shift. I am grouping. So first, I just want to hold down shift. And I just want these to be align horizontal. So it's just going to go boop. So I want it all going right there. Same thing. These are all grouped. Before you do it, just double check. I want these to be aligned on the left. They'll just pop on over. Good. So once we have them, I'm going to group. And then I want to group these. All right. So I'm going to grab that one. I'm going to grab that one. And what we're just double checking is if they're both aligned. And you could do any of these and they'll really do the exact same thing. Good. I'm going to say group. Mm -mm -mm. We're going to wait for the next video on that. I am going to do my teeth. There's a method here. Don't worry. Hold down. We are going to do group. Now what we're basically going to do, just so everyone knows, is we are going to start to align to center. So I want all of these things going right down the pipe. So I have unlocked this one and I've unlocked my features. All right, that is still there. So notice that we've been aligning to selection. Once things are grouped, now we can start to align the middle. So things that I want to double check first. Let's group these two. If I select my ear, that is all grouped. If I select my ear, I am going to group both of these. So when I select my ear, they both go. If we don't, it's going to get all over the place. That is fine. I'm just going to group these two while we have them. Group. We'll just align that back up in a second, so it's not going to matter. I want to group my tongue. And again, this is repetition. Repetition, repetition, repetition. So this is going to get centered. That'll be centered. My nose will be centered. Those are grouped together. Those are grouped together. Just double checking. I'm just double checking my shapes. Good. So what we want to do, I'm going to go control zero. And we'll find out very quickly if we did it. All right. Here's the test. Let's see, Jason. We'll find out quickly if we forgot something. So here is the thing. If we go center, if I forgot to group something, it's all going to collapse on itself. So if I do it correctly, it'll just kind of switch over, and that was it. If you have a giant mess hanging <laughs> hanging out in the middle, that just simply means we didn't group something. So just do control zero, and we want to go back through the parts that are especially on both sides. So what I want to look at is, are my ears grouped? Are both of my eyes grouped together? Did I forget to group the face? And if the nose little highlight, if you forgot to do that one, that's not a big deal. You can just, it's going to move over a tiny, tiny bit. Okay. So we're pretty much done with this one. I am pretty happy with where we're at. Aligning. So what we're going to do next is we're going to finish this guy up and we are going to do our Pathfinder.